hi seniors. Sorry you don't get to see all of us up on stage in our wizard slash graduation robes. So I thought I'd throw mine on for a quick farewell and lift your spirits with a Wingardium Leviosa. I can't wait to see what the next part of your journey brings. Um, remember to listen to your heart. Let God lead you, even if it's in a direction that's completely different than you had planned. When I graduated high school, I planned to be a, a music teacher. I'm glad I'm not. I'm glad I had the opportunity to listen to God and have him um, lead me to my De La Salle family. Um, congratulations, class of 2020. Always remember, chase your dreams. Never stop trying. Never stop learning. And always live life to the fullest and give it nothing but your best. I wish you the best of luck. Again, I miss all of you. And always remember, if you ever need an essay proofread, a Michael at DLSLHS.com. Love all of you. God bless. Hi, you guys. So you guys are going to be stepping into college or a job or the military or whatever is the next step for you after high school. My advice for you is to remember self-care. You guys are going to have times when you're overwhelmed and stressed and just consumed by work, just once a week or once every other week, take a day just to focus on yourself. Don't do any work. Take some time to relax, breathe, whatever it is you need to do. You'll get to the work eventually. It's fine to take a day off. Whatever journey you're on, wherever it takes you, um, just a, you know one kind of thing that I think we took away from our study of Hamlet this year was Polonius's advice to his son Laertes as Laertes goes off to college or school in France. He says, uh, he says, you know, gives him a lot of advice about how to behave and what to do. And the biggest thing he says is, to thine own self be true. Remember that, guys, in the future, and just be true to yourself. Take care. Hey there seniors, just wanted to say job well done. You've worked hard these four years and you've made it. If I could give you a little piece of advice for college, it's to continue working hard, but enjoy yourself. Um, college is great. It's one of the best times of your life and you're gonna really enjoy it. So soak it up, get involved, and don't take any classes early morning. Don't take any 8 a.m. classes, you're gonna regret it. All right, take care, have a wonderful time, stay safe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Two advices. Advice number one, always be yourself. No one else in this world can do it better than you. You are the best version of yourself. You are the master of it. Advice number two, follow your heart. Listen to your gut. Your intuition knows the best. Follow it and go for it. Love you all. Hello, class of 2020. Well, I'm pretty sure you didn't figure this was gonna be the way your year went, but you will go down in infamy to have survived the year 2020. You will forever be in history as the class of 2020 De La Salle. Uh, my advice would be uh, to chase your, your passion, whatever you enjoy doing, uh, as opposed to chasing the money. Because if you like to go to work every day or love to go to work every day, then you uh, and you're not even really working. So hope all is well with you, and we'll see you soon. As many of you know, my prayer for the beginning of each class is actually a quote of St. John Baptist de La Salle's. It is either something he said or something he wrote. And I think my favorite quote, and it's the one that I use for the first class of the year, and it's the one that I use for the last class of the year. My favorite one is to do all things with God in mind. Remember that. My prayer for you is that you do all things with God in mind. Because I figure if you do that, you can't go wrong. So this is my learning target for the rest of your life. Do all things with God in mind. Everybody take care, be safe, and always remember 
to do all things with God in mind. As you keep going out to your new communities, to your new schools, I want you to keep showing people how to make the best of sometimes tough situation and how to still be a positive influence on other people because you've done it and I know you can continue to do it. So thank you, keep it up, and I look forward to seeing you and celebrating together. You know, life will always throw curveballs. Whenever you think you have things figured out, whenever things are going smoothly, you're comfortable, life will throw a little plot twist your way. So going forward, having that mindset, you gotta realize there's gonna be things that occur in life that are outside of your control. So rather than worry so much about those, worry about what you can't control, and that's you. You can always control the way you react to a situation and make yourself better. How can you change yourself or improve? And that's what you got to think about as you move forward because, again, just like this year, life will be throwing little curveballs your way. So as you guys move on to the next chapters of your lives, good luck and wish you all well. Take care. What up, guys? Mr. Hicks here coming at you at the end of what's probably a disappointing senior year. Uh, I can talk to you a little bit about that as well. Uh, Danny Horning and just throwing the fastball that I called for. Uh, back in the district championship game, instead of the curve that he wanted to throw, my senior year probably would have ended a little bit better too. Still a little sour about that, but moving on. Um, but I'll tell you this. Um, you learn from these experiences. You grow from them. You become stronger because of them. Um, and some people might tell you high school is the best best days of your life. And they're great. And you guys have your your brotherhood and everything. You know, you're, you're a good group of dudes. Um, but promise you the best is yet to come uh the next four years are going to be amazing as well and then just more and more exciting things every step of the way as you go through life hello seniors mr creedon here um just offering some advice as you move forward in life whether you're going to college trade school or just going into a job or whatever you may do road trip across country i don't know um <clears throat> just make sure you always do your best whatever you do and be kind to one another. Um, one of my favorite quotes I've ever heard was from some random Canadian. He told me there's two things you need to do every day. Breathe and get better. So just remember that. Um, <clears throat> remember, the sky is the limit. Right, Kitas? What's up, class of 2020? Mr. Legato here. I'm not usually great at, at giving advice. I'm good at giving math instruction, just not actual advice. But um, I wish you guys luck in the future. And um, if we were ever hard on you or relentless in some cases, it's because we believed in you guys. And I just want you guys to go out there and, uh, and make your mark on the world and, uh, and show everybody you know, how special that we know you guys are. Good luck. Talk soon. See you soon. Hi, seniors. This is crazy, right? But you have gained an experience that no one else has, and your best days are ahead. So take this, learn from it, and go out and change the world. I love you, class of 2020. I don't have a lot of advice for you, but I suppose one thing I would say is be kind to people. You never know who you're impacting or how you're impacting them. And then the other thing I would say is uh, be true to yourself, you know, have faith. He's looking out for you. Take all these lessons that you've learned at DeLaSalle in and out of the classroom and apply it to college and your life. And you guys will be very, very successful. You will be missed. Go Pilots. The future is still bright despite these, um, this setback, this time in your life, this time in history. And so um, in my English class, um, one of the things I always like to do during the spring is to do a poetry unit. I always try to incorporate poetry, especially during um, National Poetry Month. And this year, we just do not have the time to do that. But before I send you off with my blessings, I wanted to share a poem with you that I think um, will encourage you and give you hope. Because I want you to be hopeful. I want you to look towards um, your future because it is bright, despite the time that we're in right now. And the name of this poem is Hope is the Thing 
with feathers by Emily Dickinson. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could have bashed the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest lands and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. Again, this is Hope is the Thing with Feathers by Emily Dickinson. I like this poem. I really enjoy it because it honors the human capacity for hope. Hope is a bird that likes me, that, that is similar to me. It sings no matter what. This bird sings no matter storm, rain, gale, good times, bad times, COVID-19 times. This bird endures. I picked this poem because hope endures and you can endure too. We can endure, you can endure this. We will all endure this together. I'm a firm believer that what matters most is how we handle adversity. And when life knocks you down, the most important thing you can do is get back up and keep moving forward. And uh, I just hope that's a lesson you guys can take from this. I know it's not ideal, uh, but I genuinely believe you guys are strong enough. You'll get through this, it'll be okay. Uh, we're all here for you. I genuinely do miss you guys and I'm genuinely thankful uh, to have built the relationships I was able to build with a lot of you guys over the last four years. It means a lot to me, man. I really do. From right here, guys. Uh, I wish you guys all the luck in the world. I'm always here for you. Take care. God bless. I'm supposed to give you some advice for the future, so I guess I would just say put, by, put forth your best effort. Uh, always. Work, school, family, friends, uh, life in general. If you put forth um, your best effort, you'll always feel good about uh, your choices and no matter how anything turns out you know you've at least tried your best um i miss you all right now i am also very proud of you and all that you've accomplished over the last four years uh, and i hope to uh see you soon um and be able to celebrate this and help uh usher you into the next phase of your life um see you later hello everyone i wish you all a happy successful life and this is my advice to you. Always follow your passions, your dreams. Be wise when you choose your friends. Be charitable, be faithful. Always give more than you get. And remember your families, stay close to them. And spend time with your parents now before you leave the house. And because you start a new phase in your life and you will be away from them. Um, and to end it on a fun note, uh, don't forget to text your mothers, but for real this time. Remember when I used to take your phones away and you begged me to return them to you, saying that, well, I was texting my mother and that was very serious. So it was an emergency. So now it's the time to text your mother every day. I wish you all the best and stay healthy and safe. And don't forget to come back and visit. Bye. Make sure you use all these, uh, these new talents well and find something that you enjoy to do. Uh, if you're going to have to go to work anyway, you might as well like to get up in the morning and go do the things that you're doing and make money while doing it. Uh, make sure you chase those types of dreams. Those are the ones that are going to make you feel fulfilled and the ones that make you feel like you did the right kind of thing when it's all done in the end. So good luck, boys. I know you're going to succeed, uh, and best of luck to you. So I guess my one piece of advice to you is to stay connected. Stay in touch with Devo Stell. There's a lot of great people out there that have uh, graduated from our school, and uh, you will... Uh, do well for yourself if you can stay in touch with those people. God bless you all men, and I will hopefully see you soon. If not, please come back and visit. Take care. Hey, seniors. Uh, so just a little piece of advice from me to you is 
maintain your friendships. Um, some of my closest friends I have now at the age of 38, uh, I've had since I was, you know, 13 or 14 and they've been through it all with me and they're there and supportive and it's pretty great. So that's, that's from me to you, a little piece of advice. Best of luck. Love you. Hi seniors. I have three things for our advice for you guys. Number one, don't fall behind in class and go to your professor's office hours. This is probably the most important thing. Go to your professor's office hours, introduce yourself. This way they can see your face. They know your name. Um, believe me, it helps so much in the long run that they see that you're trying. Even if you're doing well, even if you're struggling, go to the office hours as much as you can. Number two, whenever you're in a store, whenever you're buying something online, see if they have a student discount. 10% is 10%. If you save some money, save some money. And number three, um, if you're taking out student loans and if you can swing it, I would highly, highly suggest paying $25 a month now. Okay, get into the habit, just put it in like your auto pay, $25 a month to your student loans. And believe me, your future four to five year self is going to thank you so much in the long run because you're not going to have thousands of dollars of interest that you have to pay off to. You already covered it. Um, those are my words of advice. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the year and I can't wait to see everything that you guys do in your lives. I know you guys are going to accomplish so much and like I said, I just can't wait to see it. We just want to give you some advice for next year in college. Uh, remember, do not skip classes. You, it's just too difficult and always wear clean underwear. Also, just please remember that um, De La Salle is always here for you. Teachers are always here for you. You're part of a family and we never forget our family. So take care, guys, and good luck for your future. God bless. Hello, Ms. Stoneman here. The big shout out to all our seniors, especially my sale guys. Um, I just want you to know I'm so incredibly proud of you all. Congratulations and God bless. Hi, guys. You're there. You finally did it. You just finished four years of high school. You guys are heading off to college or your career paths. And I am so proud of you. You guys have faced so many challenges this year, and you've overcome every single one of them. Um, you came to school with a smile on your face every single day, and I am so proud of you. I'm so glad I got to know you, and I really hope that you come back and share what you're doing um, in the future with us. And make sure you come back and visit. Time's going to fly by, so enjoy it. Soak up every minute you can. Hey, seniors. You guys are heading out into a really uncertain world at an unprecedented time. And we're going to rely on you more than ever to navigate that world. And if you can use those skills and abilities you've acquired over the last four years, your critical thinking, your creative thinking, your flexibility, your adaptability, and you can reconcile those skills with your faith, with Jesus truly living in your heart, then I know this world's going to be all right. God bless and go Pilots. You guys have held strong the entire year. Um, could not be more proud of you guys, watching you guys grow over the past four years and seeing you guys overcome such adversity this year is only going to make you guys stronger. Going forward, you guys are much stronger for it. You guys are going to have nothing but success at the next level, whether that be college or wherever that might be. If you need anything, myself and Deal Cell family will always be here for you. Just come back anytime. Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure. What I can tell you is, you know, put your nose to the grindstone. You will get through this and get through anything. But my man on the next video, Rocky, he tells it better than I do. Your mother, this kid's going to be the best kid in the world. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching you. Every day was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits 
and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. The next event is going to be college, where they're going to Marquette, Michigan, Mount Pleasant, Allendale, Kalamazoo, Ann Arbor, East Lansing. Make the most of it. Make the most of it, hit the ground running, whether you're going to Fort Wayne, Indiana or London, Ontario, hit the ground running. Or whether you're going to the military, Navy, Army, serve well, serve us proud, make us proud of you here at home. You are ready. I know this is finishing on the way you don't want it to finish, but you're more than ready for the next event. I'll be thinking of you. Be strong, be proud, and God bless all of you. Best wishes. Um, as you continue your education in college, be safe, have fun, but make sure you study. And please, when you come back to De La Salle to visit, make sure you come and visit me. I don't care about anybody else, just come and visit me. And to my Sparties out there, oh yeah, go green. Hello De La Salle seniors, it's Mr. Kopi here out on the mean streets of where I live. And although I can't be with you, I do have some parting words of wisdom as you go out and hit these same mean streets. So once you get out there, work as hard as you can, learn as much as you can, find a good woman, get married as early as you can, have as many kids as you can, and teach them all how to love God. God bless you, go pilots, and I hope to see you soon. I guess if I had advice for you, it would be next year, be inquisitive in the classroom, be accepting of and kind to all the people you meet, and I guess just don't spend so much time worrying about where you're gonna be four years after that that you forget to enjoy the moment while you're living it. Best of luck to you, bye. Hi seniors, I have a poem I'd like to share with you. It's called No Regrets. Did you ever have a game that you just couldn't win or practiced your heart out and never went in? Have you ever thought twice about diving for a ball because you had no guts or were afraid to fall? Did you ever have a day when your swing was no good or didn't swing at all when you knew that you should? Have you ever lost a battle that you knew you should have won and got so mad at yourself that the game was no fun? Did you ever make an error that you just couldn't ignore and put your head down to let your opponent score? Have you ever woke up in the morning the day after your season ended and wished to go back to yesterday to conquer the field you defended? Have you ever come up short losing at the end of a game because your team had no fire and you were to blame? Did you ever take the back seat expecting someone else to lead you? Would you ever share the blame like a teammate should do? Have you ever given up on reaching a goal and felt that terrible ache deep in your soul? Have you ever played a game as if it was your last? If not, then you should, because you can never return to the past. That was written my senior year by me uh, in, a, in a pretty rough ending to a season, as I'm sure you guys can relate to. Um, but it has a lot of messages that correspond to real life. And I can promise you this, after a crummy senior year, I know a lot of you are going to do great things. And if you use the gifts that God has granted you and you make good decisions, I promise you the best is yet to come. I would like to wish you my best wishes and know of my prayers for all of you. I am sure that whatever school you are choosing to go to, you will do your very best and represent De La Salle wherever you go. Know that the brothers are always in prayer for you and our hearts and thoughts are with you as you graduate. God bless all of you. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. You have a bond that you share with each other. You live in a historical time period. No one can take that away from you. 50 years from now, you'll be talking about seniors and what, what your senior year. I know one thing, I'm very proud of you. I believe in you. And I think you're gonna do amazing things in life. And I can't wait to what the future holds for you. God bless you always. 
guys, the advice is very simple. You need to persevere and you need to set goals. You need to be able to figure out what it is that you want to attain in life and go for it. And I know all of you guys have the capability to do this. And I just got one thing to say to you. Grab your dream. But my advice to you is focus on the positives. All right. When I think of the class of 2020, I'm going to always remember how much fun I had with you guys in Euro class and WOCO, uh, how much fun I had with you in the weight room, coaching powerlifting, uh, talking about the military history club, you name it. I really, really enjoyed it. So don't be a stranger. Always come back, say hi, uh, especially to my advisory guys. Go mean green. I'll miss you guys the most. Uh, but it's been so much fun these last four years. And uh, it's, I'm really going to miss you guys. So good luck in all your future endeavors. Well, you're almost ready to graduate. And I've got some advice for you. And I have two things I think to say. I would say for sure, do something that you love, first of all. And second of all, just do your best in everything you do. And every day is going to be a joy for you. Hello, seniors. This is certainly not the way any of us anticipated finishing your senior year, but stay strong. Together we can get through this. And that's a good life lesson. Supporting each other and trusting in God, we can get through anything. When this is all over, I hope to be able to celebrate your accomplishments with you. Lastly, no matter where you end up next year, remember the people who love you and care about you back here at De La Salle and come and visit us when you can. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Love Jesus in our hearts forever. As you continue on with your education and with your life, I'd like you to remember one thing. When your moment comes, be amazing. Go Pilots. I want to encourage you with something as we walk through this time. The most important thing is our faith. And so if we look in the Bible, we look in the Word of God, uh, God gives us some pretty clear directions. So in the Old Testament, little prophet named Micah, Micah 6.8, uh, he gives us some words and it says, He has shown you, O man, what to do. Seek justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Men, this is what we're called to do, to seek justice, to go out in to the world and help to make sure that justice is done, to love mercy, find those who you can show mercy to and pursue it and actually love it and to walk humbly with God. What does that mean? That means to develop your relationship with God, listen to him and to find out what he wants you to do. I look forward to seeing you guys all again real soon. Go Pilots!